don't even mean to do it. Something just comes over me. I see people in the street and I just can't help myself. And just, what's up, folks? Don't forget to like and subscribe. All my friends have left me. I've got no family left. Just me on my own. My YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What up, folks? Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech. And yes, we're having a look at how to blur faces in DaVinci Resolve. Now, this will work on both the free and the paid studio versions. And while I say blur faces, you can actually use this technique to blur basically anything you need. Just use different shapes, but follow the exact same process. And as a bonus tip, I'll also show you how to disguise their voice as well. So let's open DaVinci Resolve and take a look. So here we are on the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. I've got a couple of examples set up and ready to go. So let's get to it. The first thing I'm going to do, give this first clip a click on the timeline, and then we're going to jump directly into the color page. Now we're going to do all the work for this on the color page, just because it's the quickest, easiest way that I've found to do this sort of thing. Now, the first thing you want to do, just make sure you've got your nodes open on the right hand side here. If you can't see this sort of gray grid area, just click on nodes up in the top right hand corner, just to display those like so. Now, all we're going to do is going to use a little window to track my face and then we can blur that out. So in this menu right in the middle here, you want to click on this icon, this little circle. Give that a click. This is the window tab and then you've got a bunch of different windows that you can select from here. Now we're going to use this circle because most faces are round. So we're going to grab this one, just give it a click and it's going to show on the preview window here like so. On the off chance you don't have it appear, Underneath the preview window, you've got this little drop down. Just make sure that you're on the power window and then you'll be able to see this window. And then all we're gonna do is drop this on my face. So I'm gonna drag this, put it on my face roughly there. Using these little dots on the corners and the edges, just resize this so it's on the face a little bit better. Now we can also just feather it or add a bit of a softness to the edge by grabbing the little red dots. You can see there's just a slight red outline and that will just make that more feathered or less feathered. But I'm just gonna go with something like that. Once that's done, back to this middle menu here, just click on the next one, it's like a little bullseye, a target, and that's for your tracker. Make sure that you're on tracker window. There's three little icons here, you want this one on the left hand side, again, it's like a little bullseye. And then you've got some options. Now I recommend that you turn off perspective 3D. You don't need this to be tracking in 3D, and 3D quite often just messes things up and makes things do weird things. So just keep pan, tilt, zoom and rotate enabled, but untick perspective 3D. And then all you want to do is click this icon here, the back and forth arrows. And what it will do is just track your face in real time. Like so, easy peasy. Now, if I just skim along, you can see it's done a pretty good job of tracking my face. So now all we need to do is apply the blur. And there are two different types of blur which work really well for this. So let me show you those. So for the first type of blur, we're just going to give this icon a click here, which conveniently is labeled blur. And then on this radius, we're just going to grab this little bar right in the middle and drag it upwards. Now, it looks like it only goes to one, but actually you can keep dragging all the way up to get that as blurry as you like. So I'm going to go with about one hit play and you can see it's tracking my face and blurring it as we go. So that looks pretty good. Now the other type of blur is a mosaic blur, which is that pixelated style blur. So I'm just gonna reset this radius by clicking on this little twirly icon. To apply the mosaic blur, simply open the effects in the top right hand corner. And then you've got this full list here. Right at the very top, you've got mosaic blur. Just grab that and drop that onto your node here. So we're just clicking, dragging our mouse and then releasing. And that will put this mosaic blur on my face. Within the effects area here, you've got things like pixel frequency, so you can change the size of the pixels. And there's a few other options in there. Just have a play with them, getting it looking exactly as you want it. I'm going to keep it as the square, like so. And if we hit play, you can see it's doing a pretty good job. And that's it. Really simple. But there are a few other things which can catch you out. So let me show you those as well. This example is just a little bit different because I'm sat further away from the screen and then I move into it like so. So let's just do the same thing and we'll see what this does. So I've got my node ready. I'm gonna hop onto the window, grab a circle. We'll resize this, get it on my face. That will do. Then we're gonna hop into the tracker. Perspective 3D is turned off. So we're gonna use this back and forth. We use this back and forth one because then it doesn't matter where we are within the actual clip. It will track forwards and backwards, making sure that everything has been tracked. So we'll give that a click. It's going to track all the way forwards for us and then it'll go right to the beginning 
and track all the way back. And if we just skip through, let's have a look. Now it's done a pretty good job, but at this point here, when it's moved towards the screen, it's just got a little bit too big. But don't worry, that's easy to fix as well. What you want to do in this tracker window, the top right hand corner, you've got clip and you've got frame. Change that to say frame. By changing clip to frame, that allows us to add keyframes for every single frame within this footage. So we can actually just change the power window size and location all the way through the clip to make sure that this lines up perfectly. So what I'm going to do down here in this little window, I'm just going to drag this little playhead to a point where it looks like it gets a bit big. So it starts to grow bigger about here. And then I'm just going to add this little keyframe button by clicking on this little diamond over on the right hand side. And that'll add a little keyframe just up here. And then about here, you can see this is the point where it's got to its largest, at its biggest size. So we're just going to resize it, move it back over to my face. I can rotate it if I want to, like so. And now if we keep scrolling forward, you can see from then on, it's much smaller. It's following my face really well, and it's doing a really good job. So now we'll just drop the mosaic blur on that one. We can hit play. And job done. It's tracked us and it's doing a pretty good job. Easy peasy, right? Well, what happens if you want to track more than one face? That's easy as well. So in this clip, there's these two lovely old deers going for a little bit of a walk and we want to blur their faces. And it's exactly the same process. You just do it twice. So I'm going to grab the power window, grab my circle. We're just going to put this on this little lady's face over here for starters. Make this a bit smaller. That will do. Tracker. Everything's good to go. Let's track this. That looked pretty good. Drag the mosaic blur, drop it on our node. Done. That lady's done. Now we just right click on my node. I'm going to add a node. And I'm going to add a serial node, which will just give us another node afterwards. And then we just repeat the process. So I'm going to grab a window, circle, resize this, drop it on the chap's face, tracker, forwards and back, mosaic blur, slap it on there, job done. Now, if you've got footage with a color grade on, as you can see I do here, exactly the same thing. Just right click on your last node, add a node, add a serial, and then just repeat the exact same process on this final node, add your mosaic blur, and you're good to go. Now for one final quick trick, there's no point blurring the face. Unless you disguise the voice as well. That takes two seconds, so let's do that as well. I'm back here on the edit page. I'm just gonna give this footage a click on the timeline, open up the inspector, Go to the audio tab at the very top. Then all you need to do under pitch where you've got semitones, you can deepen the voice by bringing this to the left to the negative numbers, or you can actually increase the pitch of the voice by taking it to the right. I want to go left, so I'm going to go minus five. And now we've got this. What's up folks, it's Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech, and I've just discovered this super quick. And that's it, easy as that. Thanks for watching, take it easy. I'll catch you next time. See ya.